everybody, today I am doing a new installment in my How to Be a Pinup Model series, and this is um, a second installment of my posing video. Um, I got a lot of you guys asking specifically on how to pose on your stomach, um, with your back turned to the camera, and on the floor. So I'm adding those three kind of areas of posing to show you guys some tips and tricks when you are pen modeling. So um, my first video kind of goes over a lot of the basics with hands and feet and all that, so definitely watch that if you want the absolute basics, but this is going to be more specific with these poses. So let's get started. Okay, so we just moved, but we happen to have our old couch in our dining room, so I figured this would be a perfect place to show you guys how to pose on your stomach. A lot of girls have asked about this. Um, so obviously I'm not posing straight at you, but I'm going to kind of show you how to lay. You always want to make sure that your body looks um, curvy still when you're laying down. So I like to always keep my feet up because when you put your feet up it really makes your butt like look bubbly. So butt up in the pictures, always make sure that your shoulders are down because if you scrunch your shoulders up you're going to kind of sink into whatever you're laying on. So feet up, shoulders down, make sure you're always aware of your feet when you're laying on your stomach. So make sure your toes are always pointed, legs are crossed or feet are together. Um, this doesn't look awesome, like being unaware of your feet doesn't look awesome, unless you're doing like a playful pose where you're kind of like, wee, like you can <laughs> move your feet around like that. Make sure your, your shoulders are always down, and then just play with your hands and your face, and um, you can look away from the camera, you can look towards the camera. Obviously, if the camera's this way, you can look that way. I did a picture with Andy, which um, a lot of you guys have told me is your favorite picture, and that was an on the stomach picture. One thing to remember, which I did not remember in that picture, was to uh, make sure your feet are clean when you're going to do an on the stomach picture because the odds are people are going to see the bottom of your feet. We were shooting at a pool, so I was walking around outside, so I had dirt on my feet. Um, so just make sure if you're going to do an on the belly shoot, uh, wear some slippers or something to walk around in until you're actually shooting. The other thing you can do when you're on your stomach is lay down. So just make sure that you do kind of a fake lay. Because the thing is, if you're laying down on your stomach and you actually lay on your face, you're gonna smash your face. So you're gonna have like in your cheek or it's gonna pull your eye weird. It'll cause weird wrinkles. Um, so just make sure that you're not actually laying. Um, make sure your hands are pretty. Don't, don't do the amputee. Like make sure you can see both of your arms because if there's one arm back here, you're gonna look like you only got one arm, which is really weird. Uh, and then you can also do the side lay, which I cover more in my last video. But stomach is kind of limited in how you can move because you can't really turn which way or the other. So just be really, really conscious of your arms and your legs and not smashing your face. The next thing that we are going to go over is posing from the back. So like I said in my last video, most girls have a good side. So I tend to go to my good side when I'm looking over my shoulder. Make sure that your legs are cute. Um, everybody's legs look kind of different in pictures. So some girls' legs look good crossed, some girls' legs look good spread. Um, mine tend not to look good spread because I have bigger thighs and smaller calves. So I look like I have triangle legs when my legs are spread. So I usually try to cross them or keep them together. Uh, you can't see in the full frame, but I am on my toes. I always go on my toes from the back especially because it creates a pop in your calf muscle, which is really appealing in pictures. Um, and then be just aware of your hands. Same thing when you're filming or when you're taking pictures from the front. You always want to have pretty hands, pretty arms, so put your arms out or put them on your hips or put one up or uh, whatever, as long as whatever you're doing is pretty. You can keep them straight down too. Also be really aware when you're doing pictures from the back. If you turn like this, hey look, I only have one arm and I'm an amputee. So make sure that this hand can be seen, whether you're doing one of these, or you're putting it back here, or you're putting it out, or whatever it is, just make sure the back arm isn't totally gone because otherwise you're gonna look like a one-armed lady. And while that is awesome, it's not a correct representation of your amazing body and arms. 
The other thing to remember is if you're going to put your hand on your shoulder over here, don't keep your shoulder up because you're going to lose your neck and nobody likes a model with a short neck. So be sure if you put your hand on your shoulder that you keep your neck nice and long and if it takes, if you're not super flexible and it takes a little bit of a pivot, you can definitely do that, but just make sure that you keep a nice long graceful line and you're not like scrunching up and getting stiff and also make sure you always keep your shoulders down your back arch your booty out because you want that like really feminine shape so the last thing i'm going to show you is how to pose on the floor First, before anything, I am going to show you my least favorite pose ever in the history of the world when girls get down on the floor. And that is the squat. This does not look cute. It looks like you are pooping. Nobody wants to see a pretty lady pooping. So if you are gonna do something where you're down, make sure your knees are together. Make sure your feet are pretty. So if you wanna prop up on your back toe, point your back or your front toe so that you have a nice pretty foot. Cause this, not cute. If you have heels, just make sure that your heel doesn't look like it's not coming out at an awkward angle. This is totally something you can ask the photographer because they are there to make sure that you look good. So you can ask them like, does this, does my foot here look weird or whatever. You can also do one straight foot in the back or one straight foot in the front. Totally depends on your balance. I have awful balance. So I don't tend to do this pose very often. What I like to do is knee posing. So make sure, same thing when you're posing on your knees as with the arm thing, that you don't look like an amputee. You wanna make sure that you can see this part of your leg. Obviously you're not gonna see the back part of your leg because of the way your leg is angled, but as long as you have the front leg there, you're fine. But you don't wanna like cover it like that because as you can see, you look like a double amputee. Um, so what I usually do is kind of sit up a little bit. It's hard to do for a long time, especially if you're on hard floor, but just tell the photographer, like, give me a countdown, I'm gonna pop up. It's the same thing like if it's bright outside when you wanna keep your eyes open, do a countdown and then open them at the last second. The other thing you can do sitting down is both of your legs this way. Just make sure, same thing, that your toes are pointed. Um, this is a really great pose practice in the mirror especially because when you're sitting down something that might look right to you looking down on your body straightforward looks really weird and awkward so just make sure that whatever you're doing looks right from the photographer's point of view you can also do knees up which is one of my favorites same thing keep your toes pointed make sure that you're doing this pose from an angle because if you go straight on you're gonna look like the tiniest person ever made and the point of modeling is to make yourself look taller and life and graceful and you don't so much when you're from front on so do it sideways and you can also do you know your legs at different angles make sure when you're sitting down too that you keep really good posture because if you're doing one of these uh, you just don't look super amazing and this will help keep you long you can put your arms up or in the air or whatever you want to do you can keep them down make sure if you keep them down to keep your hands pretty the fun thing about modeling on the floor is that you can really play with where your arms and your legs are going um, you can also lay down if you want to Laying down, I think, is better if the photographer is directly above you or a little bit behind you. Um, as I showed in my last video, when you're laying down like on a couch or something, it works better for that. Just be very, very aware of your hands, your feet, and your posture because you really want to elongate everything and make sure that every part of you looks really feminine. So that is it, my second part of my posing video. I hope this was helpful. If there are any other um, pieces of posing that you guys want to know definitely ask if you have any comments or questions leave them in the box below i'm always here to help i'm really excited about making more videos on how to be a pinup model so if there are any other facets of this whole thing that you guys are dying to know about please let me know i'm here to be helpful um my best advice with anything that has to do with posing is just practice, practice, practice. Look in the mirror because what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. I see amazing poses when I look at girls in pictures and then I try to do them and I look like a hot fool. So just be sure that whatever you're doing works for your body type and shape and height and all of that business. So um, hope this was helpful. Love you guys. I love all the positive feedback you give me and I will see you on the next one.